Hello and welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Fiona Farrell and I went to UWC Maastricht from 2019 to 2021. And I have made a few UWC videos in the past. You can look in through my channel to see some of the content I've made. Today I'm going to be answering 11 of the questions that I've received on in the comments of my previous videos as well as questions I've received in my Instagram DMs. Uh, so I'm going to answer these questions to the best of my ability. I'm answering them based on what I have experienced at UWC and what I have experienced specifically to UWC Maastricht. This Q&A might be most useful if you are going to UWC Maastricht or if it is your first choice. Otherwise, you might just be interested in general just to hear what I have to say about some of these questions. So first question, is it hard to make friends there at UWC? I would say no, it's not hard to make friends, but it does take time to build deep connections with people. When you first arrive, everyone's in the same position. No one knows anyone and you're all trying to meet new people. So because you're all in the same boat, it's quite easy to approach people and, and people approach you all the time. So there's hardly any feelings of awkwardness with approaching people or getting approached by people. Also during intro week, you have scavenger hunts, capture the flag, various activities to help you bond with various different people, they split you into groups. For example, we had a scavenger hunt um, in the city centre during our intro week and we were put into a group of people and we explored the city together. And when you explore a city with a group of new people on foot, you end up talking a lot, so we definitely bonded. And you're also placed onto a floor, so each floor, every single night has floor, meeting so you play games you talk you discuss so during intro week you're able to connect with your floor mates your roommates as well are your the first people you really meet and get to know so they can also become your friends and obviously when you start school the people within your class become your friends and CAS which is creativity action and service is a requirement by the IB so you definitely do get to meet people since it's a requirement you have to join clubs everyone has to participate and you will end up meeting people so just because it's required doesn't mean it's not it should not be enjoyed cast is definitely enjoyable just pick the activities that you like and you will have a great time so yeah like I said in the beginning it took quite a while for me to build close relationships which I think is normal. It takes time to get to know people. So um, don't be surprised if, you're, if your friendships shift a bit. The friends that you make in the very beginning might not be your closest friends by the end of UWC. That's completely normal. Number two, what happens if you don't get along with your roommates? This is a very tough question and it's very much dependent on what situation we're talking about and I was quite lucky in both years to have very good roommates. Within my experience what I would say what I wish I had done sometimes when I had issues with roommates was I wish I had spoken to them directly about what was disturbing me instead of going to the other roommate or going to a friend and they, all those things are great but if your roommate that is causing the issues within the room is not aware of what they're doing then they cannot change so it's quite important to speak to them directly and tell them this is making me uncomfortable because of this is it possible for us to make a compromise or make a change in how this things are working in this room each floor has an RM, which is a residence mentor, and you can think of them as a sort of guardian over all the members of your floor. They're there to ensure that everybody's safe, everyone's on campus at curfew, and that the living environment is healthy for everybody on the floor. So what you can do is approach the RM, speak to them, tell them what is disturbing you, what you have done to try and fix the situation. If you are not comfortable with approaching an RM, you can approach the floor reps of your floor. Each floor has two floor representatives and they're meant to voice your concerns. So you can speak to them 
if you are not comfortable with going to an RM. So those are my options if you have a problematic roommate. Like I said, both years I was quite lucky to have quite good roommates, but I did learn <laughs> that honesty, being direct about what's bothering you, communicating is one of the first things that I should have done in some of the issues that I had. Number three, are all UWCs very strict on the ratio of nationalities of borders? Like, can two people in the same country live together? I would say that it is true that UWC is very intentional with how diverse each room is. I don't think I have ever experienced a room with people from the same country inside. It could happen where one of the members is a dual citizen. For example, I'm a citizen of both the US and Namibia. So I applied for the Namibian National Committee. I could be placed in a room with a US, another US citizen. Yeah, they definitely do try and keep the rooms diverse. It could happen that you have people of the same continent within the same room. That has happened quite a few times, but it is true they definitely try to keep the floors diverse and they try to keep the rooms as diverse as possible. Next one, is it hard to only have one toilet and two showers for a lot of people? No. Okay, let me explain. So each room has four people. Each pair of rooms shares one bathroom. That means that there are eight people for one bathroom. And each bathroom has two showers and one toilet. With that, on the outside in the common room, there's a common bathroom with two toilets. So if the bathroom in your bedroom is full, you can always go to the one outside. And with the showers, yes, it is one for four people, but at the start of the year, just clarify when you usually take a shower to make sure that beforehand you don't clash and that there are no issues that you run into. Next one, I see you have a kitchen. How exactly do meals work at the school? So UWC Maastricht has a cafeteria, which we call the mensa. And in the mensa during the week, we get three meals a day. So that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. During the weekends, we get two meals a day. So that's brunch and dinner. There is a kitchen. So if you ever do feel like cooking, you can. That option is always there. There's a grocery close by, maybe a 15 minute walk away. You can buy your own groceries, cook in the kitchen. Usually people cook with their friends or with people from their country or people from their um, geographical region. Yeah, you can all, you always have the option to cook if, if you want to, but most meals are eaten in the mess. Okay, next one. Are you responsible for cleaning your room slash bathroom and other common areas? As far as the cleaning, I'll, I'll explain it this way. You are responsible for cleaning your bedroom. The floor is responsible for keeping the common room and the kitchen clean, study room clean, and the laundry room clean. Or there's a professional cleaning team that the school brings in once or twice a week, I'm not actually sure, that cleans the bathrooms inside the bedrooms and also the common bathrooms. So those areas are kept clean by professionals, which I think is very, very useful. Um, but as far as keeping the floors in your bedroom clean, taking out the trash, keeping your study area clean, all those things are up to you. And as far as making sure the dishes are washed or the common room is tidy, that's up to the floor. And each floor comes up with their own cleaning um, rota that they follow throughout the year. And if there's a change that needs to be made, there's gonna be a change made. Because sometimes people don't follow their cleaning schedules. Are you able to go wherever you want in the city if you tell the school? The only time you need to tell the school where you're going is if you are staying overnight somewhere or if you are visiting another country, so crossing the borders, maybe to Belgium or Germany. If you go to the city center or the grocery store or to explore Maastricht or the rest of the Netherlands just for a day and you're back before the school's curfew, you're fine. You don't need to tell anybody. You don't need to tell the RM. Tell your roommates so that they know where you're going or tell your friends so that they know where you are in case something happens. But you do not need to inform an RM. They trust that you're responsible and that you will come back and return safely back to campus. The instance where you do need to inform an RM is when you're going overnight. You need permission from your RM and from your parents or guardian, from a parent or a guardian. How do you go to the supermarket? Do you walk? School takes you there. The most common modes of transport are walking and biking. Most firsties are able to buy a bike within the first month of, of going to JBC. There are bike garages all over 
Maastricht, so you can easily find an affordable bike. The school has some bikes which you can borrow or you might get a bike passed down from one of your third years, fourth years or, or alumni that had been at the college before. Or maybe one of your DP2 roommates could give you one of their bikes. There are hand-me-downs you can borrow from the school or you can purchase your own bike and then sell it when you're done. What subjects and activities do you take? Higher level physics, <laughs> higher level physics, higher level history, higher level English literature, standard level Spanish ab initio, maths AA and music. I did a lot of activities. I did not, I, I did go beyond the cast requirements so I don't actually remember everything I did but off the top of my head I did Mother United Nation. I volunteered at COA which is an, a refugee center in Maastricht and we would do crafts with the children. I did Mother United Nation and we went to Thaiman. I did Let Science Talk, which was a new conference that was started the first year I joined. Oh, I also went to the gym. Oh, I did, um, what did I do? IA, the International Award. I never went on the hike because of the pandemic. It was canceled, but the intention was always to go on the hike. It never happened, but I didn't know that when I joined. So yeah. I did that and I did yoga. I did, I might be forgetting some. How many breaks and holidays do you get in a year? And if you want to visit your home, do they give you leave? The big breaks are December break for Christmas. That's about three weeks. And then Christmas break, which is, I, I'm really not sure, but I think it's about a month and a half. I think it's just a normal, normal summer break. But we do get a week off in October for autumn. We get a week off in February for Carnival. And we get, a week off in May, I think. So usually Dece December break you have to leave, but last year we were allowed to stay. Summer break you always have to leave because there's, there isn't an RM on campus to make sure that you are safe. And you can leave all your belongings in boxes and keep it safe in the school so you don't have to carry all your belongings back and forth all the time. The next question. Is the IB hard? Yes, the IB is hard. I struggled quite a bit with the IB program. Yeah, and I think that's as expected. The IB is supposed to be challenging. That's why it's so valuable. But some things that I wish I had done to make it a bit less of a struggle for me was I wish I had planned better. And then by planning, I mean I, I wish I had started my notes earlier, had a constant or yeah, a, consi a consistent routine of note taking, for example, at the end of every class, at the end of every week, making sure all my notes are together. I wish I had planned when each of my assignments would be done, just so that I wasn't struggling to keep up with all the deadlines like I had been in DP2. I'm sure you've heard plan, 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 which is so oversaid, but it's true. I don't think I can say anything more accurate than you need to be able to plan, because that it's just the reality of what the IB is. It's just how it is. And maybe you're tired of hearing it, but it's true. I wish I had asked for help from my teachers when I wanted help from my teachers because sometimes I felt guilty for being behind and I would not reach out to my teachers. That only perpetuated the problem. That only meant I was digging the hole deeper for myself and I never got anywhere that way. So if you are struggling, please reach out to your teachers. They are there to help you and you might feel bad for feeling behind or not understanding what's happening in class but the best way out of it is to ask for help that's the best way that's the only way ask for them ask for help immediately don't wait until the problem becomes bigger final question is there prom at uwc no there's no prom but we do have a graduation ceremony and a graduation party I've never experienced a graduation party. We had an online graduation ceremony, so my experience of graduation is not the most complete experience. I don't really know what it was like before the pandemic. I don't know what the new normal will be. I guess keep an eye on the other UWC YouTubers. Hopefully they will show you what their graduation looks like. But yes, thank you so much for watching this Q&A. I tried to be as honest as I could with each question. If 
you would like me to clarify any of my answers please let me know in the comments and i will happily respond or if you'd like to talk to me a bit more privately you can always send me a message on instagram i usually get to all of your dms if i do not I apologize. And if you are firstly planning to start recording videos about UWC, please leave your channel down below in the comments. I would love to check out your journey and I would love for other people to discover your channel. If you have any more questions, like I said, the comments, you could always ask them there. I will do my best to answer or somebody else might have an answer for your question. See you in my next video. Bye.